Hello, my fellow Pathfinders! How are we busy on this fine Kingmaking day? Last time on Pathfinder Kingmaker, playing the game with the turn-based mod on, uh, we went to the abandoned hut and found the dark, deep, terrible, horrifying secrets of the Stag Lord. And then we ran into slavers from a different country and got two new friends. Ragongar, a half-orc Eldritch Scion Magus, and Octavia, a going to be an El arcane trickster, but right now a one-level rogue, one-level wizard. Know what they aren't? Clerics. Anyway, today we're going to complete the other two quests that remain within the North Nile Marches, namely to go slay Tuskgutter, a giant terrifying boar, and to cleanse the Temple of the Elk. I'm going to do the boar first, because that sounds easy. Err. I think we go this way to get to the boar. Yep. Okay, so when you go to fight Tuskutter, Amiri is going to basically run up and want to fight it by herself. So I'm going to make certain that we have as many buffs on her as possible before we do this. You can Octavia, what can you do to help us? Okay, you can cast Enlarge Person. Here I am. See. The Gongar can cast added. shield on her. Oh, that's a personal spell, so never mind. Um, Lindsay can... Okay, well, uh, I'm a fighter. Okay, so it's just really the enlarged person. Mage armor won't help. Uh, reduced person won't help. Remove blindness won't help. Vanish won't help. Okay, those are all the buffs I can cast. Yeah. Cool. Um, Octavia will cast Mage Armor on herself. Alright, that's the best we can do. Let's go. So here we are. The monster is here. And now I'll tear him apart. Just, yes, just watch me. Okay. She clears her throat. There's a custom where I am from. A boy kills a monster in front of the elders to prove he's a man. <laughs> That's funny. In our parts, boys must do something rather different to become men. Throws an angry glance at the half-elf and Octavia falls silent, but her teasing smile remains. The barbarian clears her throat in hesitation. In our tribe, girls don't get no initiation at all, so I arranged my trial myself, like in the song about Kaggle the Orphan. I downed a cave lion in single combat. Here, see? The scars I got in that battle. And you know what my elders did after I threw the lion skin at their feet? They admitted they were wrong. Dream on! They laughed in my face! They said I scratched my belly myself and hired some man to kill the lion for me and trade for... Ugh. Later, they agreed my initiation, of course, had they had no choice, but... Amiri's voice wavers in anger and she spits on the ground. Ah, I see. Come, to battle! Gorm, watch me! With a battle cry, the barbarian rage charges the boar. I'm going alone, got it? Yeah, she kind of has to. But that doesn't mean we can't assist her with some bardic performances. Nice. Okay. So, Amiri doesn't want us to get too close, but that doesn't mean we can't, you know, stay on the sides in case she gets in trouble. So right now we have a surprise round on Tuskutter. going to use that surprise round to move everyone up. Oh, slow, slow halflings. You are so slow. Nice. Alright, so that, that is a good lead on Tuskutter, because Tuskutter can seriously mess you up. Argongar is just going to move there. Again, putting everyone into position in case Tuskutter takes down Amiri, which he can do. In the meantime, Lindsay will pass some music to help out Amiri. I don't know why the game keeps going to desktop like that. I will be editing it out. For those of you wondering what I'm talking about, this game keeps dropping to, uh... They go down! No, no, we believe you can do it. We're just watching. This won't... Kill me. Oh. Okay, Miri's getting into trouble. 
I'll have Lindsay move up and then stand behind her to cast Cure Spells. Valerie, stay there. Move action, drink a potion from your belt. It's something. All right, she's down. I always survive. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Lindsay's she's down for the counts. All right, everyone. Let's finish off Tuscutter. This should do it. Nice. Breathing heavily, Amiri stands over the corpse of the fallen monster. What you say? See me in action? I almost chopped his head off. Yes, a real epic battle, just like in the sagas. I won't even have to embellish it for the book. That's it. Trial done. Now no one dare say Amiri is weak. She grins and thrusts her chest out. You are a valiant warrior, where there are truly fools who doubted your strength. Some did, you know. I spit on them. No one will dare bark at me now. Still, why did you want to kill this monster? You passed the test back when you were with your tribe, didn't you? Amiri's face reddens. Well, not just the pups must pass the test. If a man is a newcomer to a tribe, he must bring a monster's hide to prove he's not weak. Her voice trails off, then falls silence. I'm honored you consider me part of your new tribe. You are a strong and valiant warrior. Just don't start this, that. Amiri stops, trying to choose her right words. Don't talk to me about honor and valor. I already know. She frowns and turns away. Still, I owe you thanks. You have a true chief's heart. You know what? If we meet another monster like this, I'll kill it too. Not just for a test, just just that nobody would ever dare say Amiri isn't a warrior. Okay, cool. Done with waiting. I wrote it like I saw it. Let's patch you up. Tuscutter really just fucking wrecked her. Alright. We can heal the rest when we rest. Okay. Two meets, he's a big boy. Tuskutter's head, which I need to turn in to complete the test, and a tenderloin. So that's three pieces of meat from Tuskutter. He was a chonky boy. Oh, that must be some other guy who tried to, like, I'll kill this monster with my wand of fine traps. Did it work? Did a wand of fine traps help you kill a boar? No, it didn't. Do you know why? Because boars don't lay traps, they just kill you. Okay. Tusk Gutter is complete. All we need to do is go back to Oleg Trading Post to turn in to collect the bounty. Which means it's time to go to the Temple of the Elk. But first we'll rest. Now we can make sweet pancakes! Sweet pancakes are Lindsay's favorite food, so if we cook them successfully, which we only need to roll a 6 to beat the DC, Lindsay will get an additional bonus along with the normal bonus that we get from sweet pancakes, which is plus 5 movement speed for the day. Hey, who's that? I thought I saw someone. I've been free for a long time, but I still see an assassin in every shadow. Mm, got it. Yeah, so Lindsay's thing is an extra five feet of movement. So Lindsay now has 30 feet of movement. She is no longer slow halfling. All right, here we go. The Temple of the Elk. I want everyone to put their best buffs on. We found the right trail. The ritual was held here. But be careful. There are dangerous beasts ahead. They both are guards of this place and tokens of the druid's evil magic. Please be careful. That is not far. I won't let you down. Mage Armoire. Shield. Give the order. Okay. I'm listening. Oh, you already used yours. What's and Lindsay. No, um, Octavia. Cast enlarge person on Amiri. Alright, let's go. 
That's a full round spell to cast. Okay, here are our first enemies. Giant frogs! Okay, cool. I am frog. I am charge. Why did I move there? I swear this game. Okay. Even with the extra five feet of movement. Okay, Amiri. Amiri's close enough. Charge and kill that frog. Nice. Regongar, can you charge? Nope, nope, nope. Yours is nine. He cannot charge. So he will just move up. Close my leveling. Uh, this fight probably won't level us. Okay, Octavia, shoot frog. It would be nice if you missed, because then you could sneak attack. Okay, Lindsay, show her how it's done. Shoot frog. There you go. Four points of damage. Okay, Cedric, get out of the bad place. Do not falter. Bring it. Nice. These frogs are no problem. They are frogs. Okay, I need to move quickly because that buff only lasts for a minute. But up here is the real enemy. A boar-like treant. Missed. Okay. Ragongar. Cast. Shocking Grasp. Uh, okay. He didn't have the music to help. Now he has the music to help. Amiri. This is where we'll use your rage. It's got uh, some kind of damage reduction. Okay. This will hurt. Like I said, if you don't have the proper way to overcome damage reduction... Uh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy, this is gonna go bad. Scorching Ray. I got a scroll of Scorching Ray. Nice! Ragongar has half-orc ferocity! Yes! I die. Oh, he's dead. Ferocity wore off. And then he gets better. The ink dry. Lindsay, Oxide. bring our big yes. boy back up to full. Yes. Yes. Nice. I swear, never have I been so glad to meet a stranger. Even with the power granted me by Saren Ray, I almost lost. You have my thanks. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tristian. Finally, we have a cleric. Tristian is a cleric of Serenray, who is the goddess of healing, and the sun, and redeeming evil, and punishing evil. She's got a lot going on. Um, he's also an ecclesiotherage, which is basically a cleric that's more like a wizard. Ecclesiotherages sacrifice the ability to wear armor or carry shields in return for enhanced spellcasting abilities. The idea is they rely on their faith to protect them. Anyway... A local nymph directed me here. She thinks the enchanted fog in the temple was created by the druid who serves the bandit leader here. I expect defeating the beasts guarding should cause the fog to clear. I have never spoken to nymphs, but I believe their assessment is accurate. The creatures occupying this temple are far from ordinary animals. The power that moved them here is related to the fog. The beasts hold the fog as anchors hold a ship dancing in the waves. From what I can tell, once the beasts are defeated, the fog should begin to clear. Anyway, you're wounded. Do you need aid? You are very kind. Kindness to strangers is in short supply these days. But worry not. Saren Ray's priests are skilled in the healing arts. I can heal myself. How did you get here? I was investigating this fog. I believe you have already discerned that it is magical in nature. I serve Saren Ray, goddess of sunlight. Discovering an evil magic that isolated living creatures from the sun alarmed me in no small way. I was able to locate the place the fog originated from, but was too presumptuous and almost got into the beast's teeth. 
Uh, we should stick together in such, a, in such a dangerous place. You could help me on my journey. I promise to think about your request after you deal with the beasts. But please, allow me to catch my breath for now. Uh, okay, well, we'll help once we deal with the beasts. Farewell. This fog bothers me. I mean, dude, we could really, really use a bunch of channels right now because you see, What's that? Tristian is a as it should be cleric. He's an ecclesiotheric, and he has a very high con charisma, so he has a lot of channels. Unlike Harem, Harem is a dwarf cleric with bad charisma. He gets almost the minimum amount of channels. Okay, so there are some more monsters lying over here. Specifically, a primal boar. Dire boar! So basically, another tusk gutter. Okay, I don't have a clear line of charge. Valerie will also move up. Oh, okay, cool. That's cool. Octavia, please, for the love of Jeebus, hit. You can sneak attack. Ah, <sighs> okay. That's cool. That's cool. I didn't need. I didn't. I didn't need you to hit. Good. A Mary's fatigue from a raging war off. Ouch! Ouchies. Let's try this way. Valerie, can you get in range to get the flank and hit? Good. 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 Okay. Come on, Octavia. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Magic Missile. We'll pretend this was the sneak attack damage. For me. Okay. They go down. Oh goody, he's gonna kill me. Oh! Oh, that was lucky. Let us as one. Come on, sneak attack! You deserved it! Me. Oh come on, that was a waste. This was not now I'm dead. The plan. Valerie, kill. Val Valerie, kill. That's not killing Valerie, that's missing. Fuck's sake, has Octavia hit once with a sneak attack? I'll cut you. Bring it! Come on. This is. Boy. This is an exhilarating battle. Die for me. Finally. Okay, I'm gonna start just chugging potions. Oh, good. I'm almost out of potions. And Lindsay is out of spells. Come on, come on, Tristan, Tristan. Hey, Tristan, come channel. Okay. Three wolfos. Is possible. Serves you I'm not right. afraid. Okay, Octavia, they haven't acted yet. You can't stop me. Th there we go. Six sneaky attackers. Uh, maybe here? No? Yes. Oh boy, that was bad. Okay. Okay. Oh dear me. This is very bad. Oh dear. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh. Okay, he desperately needs the shield. And then Valerai. Calm down. Not dead yet. Consider me provoked. Yeah, or just miss. Okay, so Valerie has a lot of healing. So I'm going to cheat 
take all the potions off of Miri, put them on Cedric, and then since Cedric is lying down, he will take attack of opportunity from standing up from all of those wolves, which would probably this kill him. Okay, cool, that also provokes. Okay, this might go bad. She's dead. He's dead. We're dead. Survive. I always survive. We're going to try some crowd control. Good. got more of these, so let's keep it up. Perfect. Tavia. Sneak attack. Good. Valerie. Kill. Okay, that's not a killing. Any last wishes? Come on, kill. Kill, 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 kill! Oh boy, they got her. They got her with a crit. Okay. Last color spray from Lindsay. They both made their saves. Okay, Octavia. Use your bonded items to get this back. Then, color spray. Oh, Jesus! No, 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 no. This is bad. Oh, great. Oh, great, great. Jesus, great. Oh, this is so stupid. I'll fight if I have to. I can't keep this up much longer. Any last wishes? Val I hit Valerie with the color spray. Stop me. Avenge me. This is where I step in. Yep, we're dead. We are dead. <laughs> well, that's the end of our adventure, guys. Okay, cool. I'll see you guys next time when hopefully I can beat these guys.